Boom. Hey, greetings everyone. Welcome to Samurai Geek Designs. We actually got our sign out there the other day, but today it's a little bright in here. Actually, let me take off my glasses. It's a little bright in here again, but uh, I just wanted to give you all an update on the final outcome of these two Jack specific figures here that I was working on. We unveiled them, I guess, about a week, a week and a, well, about a week ago, over a week ago, uh, over at Dale Ekman's Toy Show. Um, really, I, I was out there, I was supposed to be out there drawing, but uh, I had been putting so much effort into these things and everything else that's going on in here that uh, drawing kind of had to uh, take a, a back burner. So we just went out there to unveil these guys at, of all places, a toy show. So, um, one of the things that I kind of regret that I did not get to do on both of these was replace the capes. I really wanted to get a uh, different kind of uh, fabric on both of them, and for Batman, ooh, oh, and Batman especially, <laughs> I wanted to uh, attach something from here all along this ridge here, and then flip it over, uh, just to kind of give it a little more re real realism. Uh, Give it a little more gravity, give it a little more uh, bang for your buck, but uh, so I just had to settle on what the, on the capes that came with the figures, so eventually if these stick around long enough, I'm going to get to those. Uh, but right now we have them here on display. Uh, if you remember anything about my, my display case out here, um, there was a big Superman bust right here, and that one is gone. The owner finally came by and picked it up. And it's going home to its uh, its uh, its proper home, so it's gone. But uh, we've got lovely business cards that we set up here in place. Uh, also, let me get that out of the way. But yeah, I just wanted to give you give you guys a bit of a close up on what I did with the faces here. I don't know if it's going to show up, but yeah, there it is. It's kind of showing up. Bat flick has his uh, five o'clock bat shadow. And uh, the face on Cavill here is done. I think I need to get a little thicker on the black line on top, just like I did here. Even though it kind of Ken dolls him up a little bit, I think that adds a little depth to the eyes that wasn't quite there before. But uh, again, the utility belt, mixture of metallic colors. Ooh, I gotta clean up that line. And uh, boots, got the metallic tips also. Out of the two figures, I think I, I'm, I'm kind of torn. I like the, the the suit on this guy, but, you know, the face on this guy kind of, I think this guy came out better. And again, there's some of the detail. Thanks for focusing, camera. So, um, again, we have these on display at our shop. These are going to be here until they go. Uh, we're asking... Uh, a little steep even for me but uh, uh, we're, we're, we're asking 120 for each one or 200 for the set and right now I'm still looking for the Wonder Woman figure that belongs to this set here so uh, if I get that then I'm gonna definitely grab a Wonder Woman and uh, try to get it uh, painted up hopefully before the movie comes out this weekend but I don't think that's gonna happen so we got these two at least the title characters of the movie on display here for uh, for uh, the movie. Anyway, uh, moving right along over here, I've got, for some reason that, that branch looked a lot bigger uh, at home and uh, I don't think it's gonna quite make up for, I don't know, I, I might add this to the base, but um, I wanted to, to kind of give him a better base than what this comes with. Uh, so this this one I'll have another update on this guy later on. I need to, need to get the rest of this speeder bike together, and uh, get the decals on there, and then just kind of finish it up, because uh, this one's been here for quite a while too. Um, moving right along, you know I've got an, I've got another uh, kit. I'm gonna have a, an out of box review probably coming home to you uh, later on this week uh, on the Mars Attacks kit that I've started working on already. I also have uh, an update or two that I will get to on this Padme Amidala figurine here. This is a polystone uh, statuette that uh, just needs to have the face kind of uh, 
He really wants me to make the face look more like Natalie Portman and not quite like that. I guess I gotta get rid of the dead eyes there on, on her. But uh, I hope I'm going to be able to pull this one off. What I may do is just end up putting a lot of work into the eyes and just trying to get those really d deep inset and little little life added to those. So uh, what else do I have? Oh, these figures I've got working right here. It's amazing how much uh, of, of a likeness this Poe Dameron figure has when you actually get rid of the paint that's on there. So I'm going to start uh, layering out the highlights on his face. I don't know if I'm going to put the 5 o'clock shadow back in. But uh, still, I think I'm a little happier with this base coat on Han Solo. It's not so chunky, it's not so clunky, but I think I might have made him a little too light. So uh, I'll need to tone him down just a little more. Uh, add the eyebrows, put the eyes back in, and then call him almost done. Uh, same for Luke. He's going to go back home to uh, the diorama that we've got uh, for Marcus. And then I'm probably going to start painting the Yoda figure as well. I'll eventually make some progress on this Batman figure. And uh, I've got... Ooh, where is it? I'm going to start painting that big giant Enterprise this week. I'm going to go ahead and start doing the, the painting on the top of the saucer so I can go ahead and pop those windows in and start moving along with the lighting and the rigging on this guy so i'm going to dedicate a few uh videos strictly to this guy here once i start actually making some real progress on him so uh uh customers getting kind of antsy and i need to start at least doing something more uh so gotta catch up so guys, ooh, I hope I didn't get y'all dizzy. Uh, I will have uh, more for you guys later on. We're starting a few different models here. Uh, like I said, I've got a Mars Attack uh, model kit that I've already started. Uh, that's another figure that will be done in the next couple of weeks. Padme Amidala is going to be done. I'm going to start making some real progress on that Starship Enterprise. And then I've got to start... Ooh, let me get that out of the way. I'm going to start working on this guy here. So uh, Matt came by, picked up three of his models. I'm sorry, wait, he picked up the Galactica, the X-Wing, and the Battlestar Galactica guns, and the uh, Firefly gun, so, um, also, uh, I, yeah, so more on this guy, more on the Starship Enterprise, more on Padme Amidala over there, but uh, for this guy, this is a wrap-up video on these guys right here, I just wanted to show y'all what these guys ended up looking like. And, again, I think I might have to tone down those boots also on Superman, but, um, so anyway, you guys have fun, peace out, and, uh, can't wait to start catching up on your videos. Take care.